Hello and welcome to Conversion, a brand new series that will give you an encyclopedic knowledge on how to convert a rundown old property into a design dream. And we are attempting a massive task to convert a 19th century three-storey townhouse into five luxury apartments. So while Craig gets his hands dirty with the building work, I'm going to get stuck into the design of each apartment, taking inspiration from the city around us. And if you ever realise your dream and take on such a huge task, Conversion will show you how to. I'll be gutting, building and redefining the use of space. Whilst I'll be submerging myself into Liverpool's culture, showing you how to draw on your local environment to create some truly individual spaces. Now Ian and his team of brickies have come along today to tackle the extension. As you can see, the foundations are already in place. What's the plan of attack for today, Ian? Well, uh, obviously we're starting off at this, this level, putting the, uh, the damp course in. Yeah. Uh, just on a, a thin bed of mortar there. Yeah. Usually it's 150 mil above ground level. Yeah. Um, it's about two courses then, isn't it? Above two ground courses level. of bricks, yeah. And then uh, on, on the inside here, same, same again. We've got the uh, damp course and we've got the uh, membrane um, that, that, we've, that we've cut off at the moment, yes. which will eventually be detached attached to the membrane going on underneath the floor. Okay. This, this and will... the membrane will cover the entire floor, so when the concrete's on it, it'll stop the water penetrating. Yes, morning. yeah, it will. And these, the old bricks, these are reclaims. These have probably come down from the original extension, which you yeah. can see yeah. has evidently been here at one point. Yeah. Your guys are cleaning them all up, and uh, you're about to relay them all. Yeah. That's great. The yeah. back section, what's that one? Well, we've got obviously we've got the block work here, which will be eventually be plastered, and then we've got uh, insulation in the cavity there. Okay, so this so is a building regulation, this cavity that we've got is. out here, isn't yes, it? Yes, it is. Absolutely. And the insulation will give us the U value that's yes. required for it. Yeah. Yep. Excellent. Well, it looks like you've got it completely under control. I'll leave it in your capable hands. <laughs> As the front of the house is literally taken down, the new extension to the rear of the house begins to take shape. This, remember, was going to be a single flat, but it's now become an add-on to the basement flat. Are you getting on, Ian? Oh, I'm doing all right. Yeah, excellent. This is flying up, mate. It is, yeah. So what's the next stage? You get this uh, baby on. Oh, I've come with a perfect timing, haven't I? You have. You can give us a lift with this, you know. <laughs> okay. What type of lintel is it? Well, it's just uh, steel galvanised, uh, so it won't uh, rust in the cavity. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, fully insulated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. excellent. So uh, that'll uh, that'll be okay. Let's have a go with your towel. I'll yeah. put these uh, ends up. You be careful with that. I'm dangerous, aren't I, with the trowel? Uh, yeah. There we go. How's that? Yeah. Right. Throw them up. Yep. Yeah. You get the heavy end. Oh, cheers. Are we there? Now there is building regulations involved here, isn't it? Yes. You've got to uh, got to have 150 mil of uh, bearing on that. Okay. Just want to check that bearing. Yeah, it's 155. Yep, good, great. Okay. Let me just uh, check if he's level. Oh, hey, look uh, at that. Hey, we're not bad, are we? Done hey. this before, haven't you? Oh, only a little bit. Fantastic. Yep. Right then, so what's the next stage? Uh, we've got uh, block work on the back there and brick work on the front, but I'll, uh, I'll just show you. Um, cavity tray on top of there. Roll it down along the front here. We've got some uh, already cut. You're all prepared, aren't you? Absolutely. You've got to be organised. Know what you're doing. So we uh, we bed that on the back there, and then it comes along the, up the front just yeah. here. So you continue the brickway across here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So what advantage does this have on it then over the lintel? Any moisture that does get into the cavity yeah. will drop onto the um, onto the cavity tray here, and it, it'll find its way to the front of the wall. Yeah. Where we'll have um, weep holes. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, you've certainly got it under control. I'm going for a cup of tea. One little brick laying tip um, is to uh, lay your bricks on a wall without actually tapping. So I'll demonstrate it on this mortar board. So I'm spreading my mortar and then feathering it out. And then press it into position. That means we're not knocking it down or tapping it down. If you've got to tap it down, it means that uh, you've put too much mortar down on your bed. It helps with stability of the wall and easiness and quickness of building.
The extension of the house was allowed only on the basis of a sympathetic build. Bricks had to be reclaimed to match the rest of the building, and the team working on it are a man light. Where's Craig gone? Craig? Little shown about. Oh, I'm I'm a bricky dad today, and you yeah. know that you want this up. Yeah. I could do with a bit of hand, you know. Yeah, it's going to rain, I want my roof on. Well, I heard, yeah. I heard yeah. before you were some international, you know, megastar. <laughs> oh, it used to be a bricky. Saying that. Were you a bricky? I've been a bricky once in my day, yeah. I'm going to show you. <laughs> I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you know which end to use? Um, that end. Yeah, that's a good start. Is this your gobble? I keep hearing your yeah. shouting gobble. <laughs> okay, let's have a go. Let's see. Oh. Hey, look at that. Hey. Oh, dropped a bit. Oh, that looks uh, that looks a bit rough to me. Does it look rough? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute, let me get it on. the reputation up. Oh. <laughs> These bricks are like dinosaurs. <laughs> So how, how long was you a bricky then? Well, I went to college about 10, no, probably about 14 years ago. Yeah. And um, then I worked for a big company for about a year, and then set up my own company. Yeah. So how many uh, lads did you have working for you then, Craig? All in all, I had about 28 working so, full time. Yeah. Not quite as many as you, though, I believe. No, no. How many right. you got on now? We're up to 150 at the moment. 150? Yeah. Can you remember all the names? Well, I try to. Here we go. So what do you think of my brickwork then, Ian? It's, uh, it's all right. It's um, reclaimed bricks are always a little bit difficult to lay because they're of different sizes. But Craig, you're not making a bad job. Do you think? Yeah. So would you give me a job in your place then? Yep. Yep, we'll set you on. No problem at all. You would. Oh, <laughs> on price job work. lately, you know. Yeah. On price work. On price work, It's time yeah. to say I'm working too slow. <laughs> Another bricky tip for when you're laying bricks uh, in uh, the summertime or when it's warm is to, uh, is to wet your bricks down. And you can see there that the bricks, the dry bricks, are absorbing the water. So when we lay our bricks on the, uh, on the wall, the brick doesn't absorb the moisture in the mortar. And just press it into position. 